Welcome back to Wagered on Tilt. Uh, today we're going to be going over the second version of the Monte Carlo method. Uh, again, this is where we're taking thousands and thousands of scenarios using an average, using a standard deviation, and a random probability uh, to try and figure out who could potentially win a game. But by doing it over thousands of times, you're flattening the averages and the numbers, which means that you get to see on average, on any given day, who has a higher likelihood of winning and what are those scores. So this can be used for totals, this can be for money lines. Um, you can even potentially model this for spreads, just depending upon how you set up your system. The great news though is with the model version two, uh, you're still gonna use a lot of the data that you used in the first model that you collected. So that energy and effort isn't lost. You just get to modify some of your equations, point it in a couple different tables, and you're off to the races with what you need. Um, so again, this is a great way to build things is that you collect the data you need now for one model and then you build another model on top and then another on top and another on top and then you get more information moving forward and it allows you to expand your horizons and ensure that if all the models are pointing in the same direction, that is most likely a truthful bet and you wanna go ahead and take that advantage if there's an edge based upon the juice that the book is offering and how much you wanna wager. So enough talking, let's go ahead and dive into the spreadsheets and kind of go through how to set up the Monte Carlo version number two. So in the previous version, we went ahead and took the um, team's average for their points earned, and then we took the average for their allowed, and then multiplied them and took the square root of those. So we went the average earned when you're away, we did the average allowed when they were home, multiplied those two, and then took the square root to then get the adjusted score and the flattened score. Um, so we're gonna be doing something very similar to that again today. In this scenario though, we're going to be using the away points earned and the home points allowed, but now we're actually gonna be using the league averages and not just squaring these two numbers together. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and get our league averages into the sheet. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is just go into the history tab and then go ahead and add in into column H1, league away earned average and I1, league home earned average. Here we can go ahead and just do a very simplistic formula which is going to be equals average of C colon C, which means C to C. So it's gonna take the average of every single score in here. So on average, the league away earned is 110.4153202 uh, points. So on average, a team that is playing away is earning 110 points a game, whereas the league home earned is going to be same formula, just a different column. The equals average of E colon E. So again, the average of E to E. So it's gonna take all the home points scored and then average those out, uh, which comes to 112.5314183. Um, you can also round these numbers if you want. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I just went ahead and left these in there as they are. Um, if you went ahead and set up your spreadsheet to match mine, you will be able to use these formulas as is. If you've done any modifications to them, please know you need to point them at the correct one. Again, to get the league away earned, point the average to the away points column, and to get the home earned, point to the home points column. Um, next, we're gonna need to go ahead and start setting up some of our additional data points that we're gonna need. Um, so in order to set those up, we need to copy some formulas from the Monte Carlo one sheet. Um, again, you can do this on the same sheet. It does not matter, but we're gonna use a lot of the same formulas because we already have this data present. Um, as I said before, it helps us just speed things up. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and copy this header here, and I'm gonna move it down here so that we can just see what we're working with. I'm going to then take the teams that I wanna look at, put them down in here as well, all right, then we're gonna go ahead and um, grab some additional information. We're gonna take the average earned, the average allowed. Um, we're gonna skip the adjusted score for now and take the standard deviation, but then we're also gonna skip the chance to win. 
So these two are going to require additional modifications. So we're just going to go ahead and take this formula. You want to actually go into the cell and copy it. Move it into here, paste it, and then just make sure that you're pointing now to 10. In my scenario, it's 10. Um, in yours, it could be something else. A10, great. Now we have that. I'm gonna take this, take this, put it in here. Now this is A11, great. Gonna do the same thing for these. And again, the reason why we're doing this is because if we forgot to lock a cell, we could accidentally be pulling in wrong data. Um, so we don't want to do that. Uh, sometimes Google right there, it asked if it wants to autofill the info. I just don't let it do it. I know Google's very intelligent, but sometimes it doesn't understand exactly what I'm looking to do. Um, so here, 10, 11, 10, 11, great. Again, skip adjusted score. Go ahead and capture your standard deviation. Um, this one you have to update a little bit more because we're running so many different indirects off of it. But again, wherever you see A2, you're just flipping that to A10 for the away. A10, let's look for 10. There's another A2. 10. All right, and I think we got them all here. Great. Grab the next standard deviation. And then A3 is going to convert into this last cell to A11. 11, A2, 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 A3, uh, 2, A3, 11, so I'll punch that in. And a great way to evaluate that you did do this correctly, just compare the numbers. Do they match up? Do they look good? If they look good and they matched up, you're all set. So now we've got our average earned, our average is allowed, and this is going to seem kind of simple um, and not too over the top complicated, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit one parenthesis, two parenthesis, because it's going to be a large equation. We're going to take our average earned, divide that one by the league earned. And we're going to close that one. And then we're going to multiply another parenthesis, go back to our sheet, take the allowed, divide it by, come back to the history, away earned again. Now, this makes sense if you take a moment to think about it. The average points that an away team earned is also the average points a home team has allowed. I know it gets a little complicated if you overthink it, but try not to overthink it. It makes a lot of sense. Then you're gonna take that value and multiply it by the league average earned. So what you're doing is something very similar that we discussed in the um, P-score models for the Poisson distributions where we're going to take strengths, we're going to calculate an offensive strength, the home team's defensive strength, and then we're going to multiply it by the average. And that's really all we're doing here is we're taking, again, something we previously learned and adding a couple of things on top. 109.90 is the adjusted score. As you can tell, it's very similar to the score above. So we know that we haven't broken our formulas or done anything too crazy. So then here, we're just going to take B10, make it a B11, add our equals since I accidentally dropped that. And then this is actually going to go to C10 because that's the other allowed. And we're going to switch these out from H2 to I2 because again, now we're going to take the home information, I2, I2, hit enter. Google Sheets is going to run the calculation here in a second. You'll see it right here, the little calculating formulas, because it's got a lot of stuff it's trying to understand right now. All right, so it's saying 116 is their adjusted score. Finally, we got to break into now what is our percentage chance to win. In order to figure that piece out, we're going to have to go ahead and dive back into the scenarios to sheet. All right, so the last thing we need to do is set up the percentage chance for any of these events to occur. And in order to do that, it's really simplistic. Um, first thing we need to do is go into the scenarios to sheet, and then we're gonna go ahead and go into our formula and point it at the different cells. 
Um, again, it's using the same formula here. So where we originally had Monte Carlo one exclamation um, D, you know, uh, dollar sign D dollar sign two, we just need to flip that to 10. And where E2, we need to flip that to E10. Um, and then you just copy and paste that formula all the way down for all the aways. For the home team, what you're going to do is take the same formula as you had on the previous sheet. And instead of D3, you're going to put it to D11. And instead of E3 to E11. And again, all that's really doing is pointing the information at the new values that we have for the adjusted scores. Where before we were using multiplied values that are squared, we're now taking the multiplied values times the league average for those adjusted scores. So we're just merely pointing the new data into this formula, and you'll just copy and paste it across all of the columns that you have. Once that is complete, you'll go ahead and do the same thing. What you're going to do is copy this formula from F2 down into F10. And instead of it just saying scenarios, you're going to go ahead and add a 2. And you're going to do that for each location where it's referencing that sheet. And that's all you need to do. The formula below that for F11 is just going to be 1 minus the value above, and then you'll just set these to be displayed as a percentage. Um, and that's it. So by just slightly tweaking the values that are in this formula over here in Scenarios 2 to point to the new data coming in, and then updating the formulas here to same thing, you point to the correct data sheet. That's it. And once you've done that, you're all set and ready to go. It's that simple. All right, guys, so that is it for the Monte Carlo method number two. I hope that was helpful and insightful on how you can stack uh, data models and start using the same data that you took a lot of time to collect and scrub and just continuously reuse it. Uh, I'll do some follow-up videos in regards to linear regressions, correlations, um, and also start posting some videos around other types of data models and my own personal picks and what the outcomes were and why I made the selections that I did. Whether they won or they lost, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to be honest about what I selected and we'll kind of walk through the process that I was using to try and make these decisions. Um, until then, uh, happy wagering.